It's very hunters. First thing you need to know is that their first ability, the so-called brace, is not a brace but just a stance in which they will take 15% less damage because of the veterancy upgrades. It is used for initiating counter engagement, healing and gaining the buff which is this holy aura around their heads. So don't expect to do damage or stop cavalry with it. Spread out! Their second stage of the first ability, Knight's Defense, works as a block that deals damage while still blocking incoming attacks, but it lasts for 2 hits where they stab and swing, which is no more than 2 seconds, therefore we want to quickly activate 5 strike ability without delaying for too long, or you leave your unit vulnerable to enemy crowd control. Keeping that in mind, you should know that the second stage of the first ability and second ability provides CC immunity. Lastly, there is a misconception that the unit needs to be damaged and then healed to full in order to get max health and bonus damage buff. But that's not true, they just need to be max health in general and then once prepared stance is activated, you will see this holy aura near their heads. First thing that you need to know about this aura is that it only serves as an indicator that the models will get the max health and damage bonus buff. It will trigger once you activate Knight's Defense or Knight's Gambit. Now what people don't know is that once you get this aura by activating Prepared Stance, it will stay there even if the unit takes damage or moves. Which means that the first thing you want to do once you spawn into the battlefield is to activate prepared stance to get the holy aura and then freely walk towards any engagement of your choice. There are two types of engagement scenarios depending on your target. First type of engagement goes like this. After getting your aura, when you rush near any type of high damage melee infantry, you will brace and instantly unbrace with knight's defense, then follow up with knight's gambit and wipe them. Second type of engagement goes like this. Again, after getting your aura, when you engage defensive units like tower shields, once you are in melee range, start with knight's gambit instead, because there is no burst damage to soak up. And once it's over, follow up with Brace and immediately after with Knight's Defense. Once it's done, your second ability will be almost refreshed and ready to go again. The second type rotation is also good if you are flanking and you are sure that enemies won't be fast enough to react, therefore you won't have any impact damage to soak up, so you can start with the second ability as well. Now when it comes to formations, because their damage is so huge, you will mostly want to engage them on F1 to spread your field of attack and not overkill your targets. Unless of course you are fighting in small areas. In real battle it will look like this. Sometimes you will find defensive units overextending, so here I will start with Knight's Gambit because there is no initial damage to soak. After, I will follow up with Brace and Knight's Defense to maintain the DPS. Then I'll go to finish up some leftovers. Retreat and regroup since I'm overextending. And then I will use the few seconds I have to heal them up a bit in prepare stance before enemies reach me. And then re-engage will brace into Knight's defense since I'm engaging heavy damage dealers and follow up with Knight's camp. Here is another example where I simply wait for my frontline to group up and make contact in order for me to make a successful flank where I proceed with my normal rotation when engaging heavy damage dealers. I rush them in and start with Brace into Knight's Defense and follow up with Knight's Gambit.
the reason we are not going full top line in the veterancy tree is because there is no point in shorter cooldown if you won't be able to use it as well as the cooldowns are short already. The unit is designed to deal a lot of damage over an extended period of time. Therefore, we are focusing more on his survivability to prevent the unit melting into thin air before it can finish its rotation. With this veterancy variant plus a defense doctrine 5, we get a flat 20% damage reduction from infantry and while in prepared stance, if there is ever a need to be in it for extended period of time, a total of 35 damage reduction from infantry and 20 from other sources, which naturally creates a time window for us to do mistakes or just survive longer. 